find in her unmentionables. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. dead then, wouldn't I? It's not like that would make him happier. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Yes, I imagine you really have, haven't you? Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, 
saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Indeed, you could learn the spells required if I cared to teach you. There were nights when the wilds called to me, it is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. No? It is not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Not all apostates use the forbidden blood arts. Maleficarum do, but to condemn all who do not fall under the circle's thrall for the sake of what might be is a dangerous path to walk. There are those who look on the word apostate as meaning freedom. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Enchantment? 